Nope, the other way. Oh. There you go. Is it coming through? Uh -huh. Oh no. Okay. Um, it depends on how high you want it over here. Okay. Where you're comfortable. Bring your chair around. Okay. So I'll be working on this end. Yeah. Okay. And where do you think you want this torch? It sticks up. In fact, we could put the top oh, yeah, on it. The so will the torch be over here so nope. I can work oh, it sticks, away from me? It's shooting straight away from you. Okay. You'll have one hand on either side of the flame. Oh. Yeah, then should be able to tell better. Yeah. So have you made beads too? No, I've just watched him. No, we, we kind of have a deal. He can do the hot glass and I will do the cold. <laughs> I like that idea. Wait a minute. I thought you thought this was a good idea for you. Well, I'm thinking more of um, <coughs> fusing so, and running the kiln. Does that feel tight? Yeah. So then you'll put it here and then you'll attach that and I'll hold it. That's a good height. Okay. Or you could bring it up if you'd like. Okay, so I want this. You might want to put the spinny thing underneath. Oh. So that it has room to spin. Okay. You might have to, yeah, there you go. You might have to slide it back and forth as you try to tighten it. Oh, yeah. There you go, that's good that enough. Okay. Then you bring this down. Did you hear the deal? That he'll teach me how to set this up. If you'll teach him how to... Um, program my kiln. Program I have a kiln. big kiln in the garage, a 240 volt yeah. kiln uh -huh. with the automatic thing, but I don't know how to program it Okay. to... Uh, you know, get it up to certain levels and let it soak and then let it go up and do yeah. its thing and then go up and then drop down and all of that. Yeah. But okay. I, I bought it to do fuse work, but I've never used it. It's huge. <laughs> it's one of those big oh, ones. It's yeah. one of the big, yeah, I could do cremations yeah. in it. <laughs> I could make side yeah. money. Yeah, good Small to know. dogs and large cats. <laughs> and, you know, people would just clamp them in there. <laughs> yeah. So then you... So now it doesn't have, this one does, does this one have a igniter on it or not? Yes, it says it does. Oh, okay. We'd have to read igniting the torch, but first you need your mandrels, those rods, where did they go? Are they underneath the flame work thing there? Oh, there they are, All right? I read this and it says there's an oil on it. So you need to wash them and then put them in the flame to burn off any oil and let them cool. Then you can put them in that bead release and you're ready to roll. How long does it, after you put them in the bead release, how long does it sit before she can use it? No, you, this is a flame, one you can dry in the flame. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. But then she'll need somewhere to put her rods. Yeah, I took a piece yeah. of, I took, well, she could only do one at a time right now. I took, you could either do a piece of styrofoam where you poke them in, 
And so then, that way you can put a lot of bead release on it. Try it again. Yeah. No, don't, don't, don't wipe do it. It'll, it'll make it, you want it totally uniform. Oh, okay. So you'll end up with done. one side less. What I, okay. what I have done is I go down, Oh, it's still clumpy down there. Let me use it as a mixer. Okay. The, the material, the heavier stuff will just settle to the bottom. Uh -huh. In fact, when I opened it, there was water on the top. Ah. And you have to shake it well. And over time, it'll dry up. But you just add a little more water. Oh, so it's okay if you touch it. Oh, yeah. You just add a little more it's still funky. <laughs> still funky. Let's get it well mixed. About how long will a tank last? Uh, I don't know. I guess it Three, on four how many. hours. Yeah. Oh, okay. Plenty of time. You're not going to be. Why is it so funky? Let me put the lid back on and shake it again. I'll just set that there. What they did not give you is a bead re or a, a rest that you can put hot glass on and it just rests on a triangle thing. Yeah. So that once you've used the rod you can set it down and let the hot end sit up there. Yeah. So you'd want Kinda to like what you're doing there. Yeah. So you'd want to find something you can rest your hot glass uh, on. David will find something for me. Oh, well, that's better. Yeah. So then twirl it, but then you can put it in the flame. Just go back and forth like this, up and down, right through it. You'll see it when it dries. I wish I could see the flame. Yeah. You're in it. See it's turning okay. gray on the end? Uh -huh. That's the color you want it to be before you take a glass rod and do anything. Okay. What color would you like to start with? Oh, uh, yellow. Okay. Should I stay a certain amount away? No, oh, that's the bottom. Uh, I'll show you with the glass. Okay. Where's the restroom? David, where's the bathroom? Oh, through the kitchen, the, mm. in the hall, the first door on the right. Okay, thank you. Here's your bright yellow. Oh, Ooh, man, that's a big chunk of glass. When I was a kid, we used to play with a... That's it? I got a... Yeah, that's good. I got a chemistry set from my grandparents. It was an old one. Take this rod in that hand, okay. and you're going, let me show you with this first. No, no, don't move. Okay. You're going to go like this, and pretty soon, you don't want to put it directly in the flame, or it will pop, and pieces of hot glass will shatter everywhere. Okay. And I'm rolling it in my fingers while I do that. Okay. But pretty soon, you'll see it start to change color. Uh -huh. orange. That's hot. Okay. Um, so then, you want to keep doing that until it starts to droop. You can, now that it's red, you can no. hold it in the flame. Go out a further. There you go. Yeah, you can't see this flame at all. I know, I should. That's a bummer. So now it's kind of red. Now. It'll get black. Okay. And then it will 
start to glow. Okay. Ink them a little closer, just a little bit right there. And keep twirling it so it's getting evenly heated. Some glow. There you go. Oh, I see it. Yeah. It's starting to bend. Try to get the end hot. Not not right oh. not beyond the end, but right at the end. Because you want it to drip onto that rod. Now you want to take that rod at the same time and put it back in the flame a little bit so that you're ready. Still not quite droopy enough. And I see it glowing. There you go. You'll see you'll see a yellow flame when you're really getting going. So hold it in there. Don't take it out. There you go. Put it back in. See that yellow flame? Okay. Keep it going. It's not ready. It, it'll it'll start to look like a teardrop. And don't be afraid. Well, let's, let's keep it in there. Okay. There we go. See it glow? Uh-huh. Let me turn it a little bit. Get the whole thing going. Is it drooping? Is it drooping yet? A little bit. Just a little bit. Then, there we go. Now touch it on the side of your rod. You want to okay. you want to get it perpendicular. There you go. There you go. Okay. Now touch the rod. Okay. And the rod is not hot enough because uh -oh. it's not sticky. Oh. If the rod isn't hot, the glass won't stick. Okay. I would. I would take the rod out okay. beyond the glass oh. and do this. Okay. And then just okay, and then just blast it a little hard. I'm not used to using this torch. Mm -hmm. My torch is so hard it just oh. there we go. Now roll that mandrel roll. Roll. Nope, oh, we stuck it too close. Uh -oh. And we lost our heat. Oh no! And some of the bead release came off. So you don't oh. want to put it on that spot because it would stick to the rod. Uh -oh. Get that glass hot again. Yeah, you can't, the bead release is very fragile. You can't force it onto the rod. Oh. You have to just let it drip onto the rod. It has to be liquid. Yeah. 
จะเออไปทุกปอนส์เอาไปเป็นอัพเฮียนี่ยังไง The heat is is not right next to the thing. It's, oh. it's out near the tip, which you can't see the flame, but there's a tip. Oh. And it's out there near the tip. You can actually see right there where she's at, and she's just slightly out of the cone. Yeah, it's, that's where the heat is. Okay, you you lost that little tail. It's starting to round. That glowy spot is your flame, is your bead release. It's stuck. You, you now, if you want, you could call that good, or you could keep trying to get that one edge off. Oh, it's coming. That's what you want to see. This glass should be glowing. That means it's liquefied. Good. Oh yeah, I need the blanket. I think you're pretty close to done. So now okay. take it out and twirl it. We'll turn this off. Look, and, I made a bead. And you yeah. let it get dark. So it's not glowing, so you know it's not liquid, and then you can lay it in there between the asbestos blanket, and you let that just cool down. It's ready. For ready? Yeah. Can I do one for to show and see if you can pick up any techniques from me? Uh -huh. If you wash another mandrel, oh, sure. I'll we'll get going. Okay. Roughen up the end. It helps the. Uh, Dip it straight down and up. There you go, perfect. That one was much better. Yeah. So you're going to want to use the... Hold that <laughs> while I light the torch. Maybe I'll put a little back on that stuff. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, there. Okay, we got a spark. I guess I'm tightening it. There you go. Come on. There we go. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice. Yeah, so I'm gonna. I'm going to do it up and down like this, back and forth and up and down. You can see the steam coming off. Yeah, I can see the steam. Yeah, I can see it. We probably didn't have it up high enough for you. So now it's dry. See how fast that is? Yeah, that's fast. And then I have to do this like this, otherwise It'll just pop, and you'll have hot glass go, go in your lap. Right. That makes you move faster than anything. Right. Okay. What I like to do is try and uh, make it in a smaller stream than just one. So I will wrap it like this a couple of times, keep the end of that liquid, and wrap it around that bead. I don't care how hot the bead is right now, I care how hot the glass rod is. So, yep, you just keep adding in a, in a wheel fashion. And now it's a funky shape, but it'll turn glass like any other liquid will want to turn into a ball. So as long as I keep doing this, it's going to gather in on itself. And you can use the flame, depending on which side you heat, you can use the flame to uh, 
there you go. So once you get going, you can make one really quick. Wow, that was fast. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. That was really good. Extra heat really helped. Ooh. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I did, we didn't have, I'm not used to your torch. We didn't have it up high enough. Well, that's okay because Jeannie wasn't used to it either. <laughs> so. So, and then say I made that and wanted to add some colors. Um, you could take another one, heat up the end, and put dots on it. Um, they make what they call stringer, and it's glass rods that are only this thick. I think we have some. We have lots oh, of Oh, you have some stringer? Yeah. So then, well, you'd have to make sure the coefficient is the same. Okay. Uh, but you could put dots with a stringer. It's a lot quicker because that little thing just goes like crazy in okay. the flame. And, wow. and you could wrap it around like they did on those beads there. You see the dots they made and the bumps they've made and the wrapping around it without actually melting it into the bead. Uh -huh. And then these are just dots that they then twisted. Oh. They put three white dots and then another color and they twisted the, the rod wow. and it twists the glass around. Wow. Could you, could you make a marble? I guess you couldn't because they'd have to have a hole in it. You can make a marble, but you need a marble mold, and I have those, and I can show you how to do that. I'd make. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm not great at it. Uh -huh. uh, I took a class. Have you ever been down to that Las Vegas glass show? Yes, yeah. once. Yeah. Once. I took a class down there. Uh -huh. And it was a two-day class, one-day class, I forget. I think it was two days. And they showed us how to make it with borosilic glass, which is Pyrex, which is oh, a yeah. lot. You need you, this torch wouldn't do it. Yeah. But uh -huh. you could make a marble with this glass yeah. if you have the right mold. Okay. And it's harder than you think. <laughs> I made I, a lot I of guess. lumpy marbles. Oh, well, that's okay. So. Wow. All right. It's fun, isn't it? It is very fun. Yeah. Okay, now how long do you have to let it wait cool? Um, I would before... wait an hour to an hour and a half in here. Okay. okay. All right. If you had a small kiln, I have a small bead kiln that has a flat door at the bottom. I just open it up, pop the rod in there and close it. And I keep it at about a thousand degrees when I'm working. Okay. And then I just turn it off and wait for it to cool down. Mm -hmm. Sometimes overnight, some you know, it depends on when you're doing it. Mm -hmm. But that way the the beads anneal and they don't crack as much, but they'll still crack. Mm -hmm. They'll probably crack more in here, depending on how big the bead is. If you make a big bead, it's more likely to cool unevenly in here and just Crack in half. And they it's crack cold in out half. here too. So yeah. Maybe, yeah. So should we throw it in the kiln? You could. Um, you could put them in here, and then when she's done making a few, put them in the kiln, bring it up to a thousand or so, and then slowly just let it cool down. Okay. Okay. Thank you. you Oh, my right hand with chance. Okay, I need to dry the rod. Try that bead release. I'm a little high because I can't even hear myself. <laughs> I need to do it slow enough so that bead release doesn't explode because of some air pocket or something. It changes color and it turns a light gray from a dark gray. And you'll see the steam stop. So now the bead release is ready. And no. I'm going to put some black on here as a base. So I'm, I don't really need to move my rod too much, my metal rod, but. I do need to do the glass rod so that it doesn't expand too fast and explode on us. Oh yeah, just today. It was a clear 
and and even though you're using the same um, COE glass, different colors will still react differently in the heat. And the clear um, tends to be a little more taffy-like than, than the colors. Something in the colors uh, accepts the heat better than the clear. So I'm gonna get this guy really, really droopy here. And then I'm gonna put my my rod behind it and I'm gonna keep the, the glass in the flame and kind of draw it off of this bottom part. And it's kind of cool, so I'm gonna stop, get it hot, and do some more. Trying to make that disc shape if we can. I don't want that glass from the glass rod to be pulling on my bead at all. I just want it to wrap around and I can make that bigger and bigger. So now I've got a pretty good sized disc. You can see how flat it is. So the bead isn't going to be huge, but it will get a better shape by putting it, uh, putting the glass onto the rod this way. Now I have to make sure I don't hold it at an angle so that one, uh, like the brim of the hat, it starts to flop down. Just making a cut now. I've got to, now I have to angle it a little bit. super liquid when I add the, the dichroic color to it. I, it has to stay warm so it doesn't crack because it's melting too fast, but I am going to keep it up here and kind of weave it back and forth. That little end is a little bit of a, there we go, didn't want that scrawling across the bead. Now this you have to do slowly, and you, you, I've already used the hot glass, now I have to heat some more to let it bend around my bead. If it gets too tough, then I'm in trouble, and I'll end up pulling that bead off the uh, bead release. And now...
Now, I mean, if we wanted to, we could leave it this shape, kind of a, a wrapped turban shape, or we could keep going. The problem with keeping going is we could ruin the color. So we'll just keep trying. Yeah, I could do that. As soon as you do that, you see that color pop out. I'm going to turn it off. I should have put the, the glasses on my glasses. time to get in the center of this bead hot so that they melt together. But it's getting there. It's getting there now. There we go. Now it's one piece of glass. still glowing so I don't want to put it in the asbestos blanket but we didn't ruin the color no that's good okay thank you okay it looks dry yeah it does heat up your glass rod No, I don't see any yellow yet. Okay. Can you tell when it's ready? Oh, uh, it's kind of orange at the yeah. tip. Okay, you're going so fast through that flame, it's hard to tell if it's going to do anything. Yeah, I see some yellow as it's going through. You're ready. You're kind of heating it at the bit at the bend and not the tip. There you go. Get that tip hot, and that's where you're going to twirl. Okay. Hey, you can pull the bead out of the flame. You don't want that bead in the flame. You want it behind, and you want to move that rod more in the flame. Your bead is still right there, getting hot. Good shape. I know, that's a pretty good shape. Now you can just touch that dichroic glass. It's on the marble. Oh, your bead pulled off too fast. Hot glass doesn't like to attach to cold things, so it really has to be so hot it'll heat up that glass. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now go straight down, pick it up. Yeah, that's the way. No, um, no, do it from the black side. And just let it droop. Let it droop around. There you go. Let it droop around. You need it right next to the bead, so there you go. Now twist. 
and then not watching where I'm filming. Sorry. I think it went around. Yeah, it's weird, but. It did. <laughs> now you can keep the whole bead in there as long as you want to whether to make it a perfectly round one or leave that like a belt around the bead. It's up to you. Pull your bead towards you just a little bit to get the whole thing in. There you go. I can see the gold in there still. It's good. Okay, don't make a jet noise. You're oh. gonna burn your uh -oh. burn your glass. I think I like it right there. Okay, take it out. Spin. That's really pretty. Okay, when it's not going, put it in. 